In a resurfaced interview, George Clooney hit back at Donald Trump after he took to social media in a rant involving the actor and Meryl Streep. After Donald Trump responded to Meryl Streep's 2017 Golden Globe speech with disapproval, George Clooney fired back at the 45th U.S. president. The then-president criticized celebrities including Clooney as Hollywood elites, in a bid to prove the stars hailed from wealthy families as opposed to working-class Americans. Although, the Ocean's Eleven star didn't instantly respond. He had some scathing words for Trump in a resurfaced interview. In an interview with the Daily Beast, he stated, Here's the thing, I grew up in Kentucky. I sold insurance door to door. I sold ladies' shoes. I worked at an all-night liquor store. I would buy suits that were too big and too long and cut the bottom of the pants off to make ties so I'd have a tie to go on job interviews. I grew up understanding what it was like to not have health insurance for eight years. So this idea that I'm somehow the Hollywood elite and this guy who takes a s asterisk t in a gold toilet is somehow the man of the people is laughable. Speaking on Trump, Clooney continued. He lives in a gold tower and has 12 people in his company. He doesn't run a corporation of hundreds of thousands of people he employs and takes care of. He ran a company of 12 people. When you direct a film you have seven different unions all wanting different things. You have to find consensus with all of them, and you have to get them moving in the same direction. He's never had to do any of that kind of stuff. The actor added. I just look at it and I laugh when I see him say, Hollywood elite, Hollywood elite. I don't have a star on Hollywood Boulevard. Donald Trump has a star on Hollywood Boulevard FKU. Trump launched the attack as addressing Merrill's speech and labeled her, overrated, before accusing the actress of being a supporter of his then-opposition Hillary Clinton. Clooney's fierce remarks against The Apprentice star resurfaced in the wake of the ongoing preparations for the 2024 presidential election. While Trump is the primary candidate for the Republicans, Clooney was one of many to share their disapproval of his leadership. 